Hi, my name is Tonya Lewis Taylor. I am the co founder and executive director of the Entertainers for Education Alliance and the I Will Graduate program. I will graduate. I will graduate. The I Will Graduate Youth Development Program is a program dedicated to empowering and encouraging young people to believe in their incredible potential. We are a youth development agencies. We provide arts and education, mentoring programs, college and career access, STEM programs, STEAM programs, all with the hopes that we inspire our young people to believe that they can do anything they want to do and be anything they want to be. So one of our most exciting programs is our college and career program. We expose middle school students to early college awareness and career opportunities. We take students on various college tours. We conduct youth and parent workshops at our partnering schools throughout New York City. We've done trips to CUNY colleges, private universities, HBCUs. Ivy League colleges, we've been to colleges all across the United States. But this year we had a very interesting request from Principal Dr. White from MS226 in Queens. She wanted us to take her students, you, you ready for this? To take her students to London, England, the UK. London, here we come. Sanchez to it, the president of our agency, and Jessica Osei, our program director, have been spearheading all of the details so everything runs smoothly. Because if anybody knows Tonya Lewis Taylor, I believe in excellence. My name is Jessica Osei. I am the office manager for I will graduate. Myself and Jessica have been working diligently on making sure that we are working out all the details of this trip to London. We had to make multiple phone calls. I had to wake up at 4 a.m. The business was us at 9 a.m. But for us, I had to wake up at 4 a.m. to start to make phone calls, 4 a.m. New York time. I think the students' uh, experience will be different and engaging. And what they are expecting is generally, uh, of course, the excitement of visiting uh, London somewhere, you know, foreign and abroad. But as, as all our tours go, the, the experience and engaging with you know, current college students and the college life is definitely different and fun for them. Uh, but now traveling to London, you know, that's a big moment for anyone, especially a middle school student. We had a parent meeting and uh, we gave them all the information that they needed to know so they're uh, comfortable and understanding of everything that their child is going to be involved with in London during being on this tour. They understand that we operate at a level of professionalism and we gave them all the details that they needed to know um, about their child and all the trip details. Make sure that your children are safe, that they're engaged in learning about different colleges and universities and uh, experiencing cultural and educational diversity while in London. We hope that by the time they return from this trip, they have a more global perspective. Would any of those photos be shared with the parents? Absolutely, we will. Yeah. And uh, we're definitely excited about this trip, and it's our first international trip to London. Right? To be mindful that London is five hours ahead of us, so if you uh, call your child at 5 p.m. New York time, they're picking the phone up at 10 p.m. All right, London time. All right, so just be cognizant of that. Don't call your child at 10 p.m. New York time because that's 3 a.m. London time. You'll be right. waking them and maybe some chaperones up. The, the meeting with the parents was definitely a, a great, great meeting that needed to happen, of course. And we told them different ideas about um, suggested pack items for their kids to pack in their luggage. We don't need everyone bringing their whole closet on a trip. Just five shirts, three pants, two sneakers. That's it. This trip means a lot to me because it's a good opportunity to go um, international without my parents. Um, it's for me to take on a lot of responsibility. At this level, we were really grateful for MS226 to put her in the scope that she would be able to make a trip like this. And for all these kids to actually make a trip like this. Because not only are they seeing universities, but they're seeing a whole other city, an original city um, around the world. Trust us, they believe in us. Uh, taking care of their child, just like one of ours. We're professional at what we do. This, this, is, this is not our first rodeo. You know, we've been around, and uh, we've been around for a long time, and this agency has been doing impeccable work. So we're always up for a challenge, and we always rise to the occasion. 
So we're a middle school in South Ozone, Queens. Um, we house 950 amazing students. We have three academies. Sixth grade is Discovery and Explorations Academy. Seventh grade, we start doing them by theme. So in the seventh grade, they have Humanities Academy, and that's themed by performing arts. In the eighth grade, it's the Renaissance Academy for Broadcast Journalism, where students get into broadcast journalism. My name is Jared Humphrey. I am 14 years old, and I'm in the eighth grade. I feel excited because this is a one-time opportunity, and like my mom said, you better take it and enjoy, enjoy it while you still can. I will graduate. I'm determined. Love it. Love it. I am Larry Malamed. I am the assistant principal here at MS226 of seventh grade. I also supervise science, mathematics, and the arts. This has been the vision of the principal for many, many years. So the fact that it's, it's being materialized this year is, is sort of amazing. My name is Amber Singh. I'm in grade seven and I'm 13 years old. I'm actually into fa fashion, but not that much, but I am. And medical, I'm gonna become a dentist when I grow up, so I'm like more interested in those fields. So my name is Stefan Gobin Prashad and I'm 13 and I'm in 703. My first time traveling internationally and it's well as out my family, it's just with my friends and it's gonna be fun. Dr. Jennifer Shirley Brown, Assistant Principal, Middle School 226. A white shirt. A blue shirt. I expect that they're going to come back enthused and informed and just ready to embark on college and career opportunities. Pounds. Pounds. All right, I think we're ready. Hey, my name is Adrian Kumar. I'm 12 years old and I am in the it's going to be like a lot of busy things going on and the schedules are really tight. It's going to be very hard to keep up, but I could deal with it. One, two, three. Monday. We're off to London. We're going places. Thank you, guys. Okay. So this is our very first international trip that we're taking as a school. We're super excited that you will be the first class to do this and that you're setting the expectations for the next couple of trips. You guys will get to go to London. You're going to be interacting with people in London. You're gonna be going to different colleges to see what college is like on an international scale. Not because you know we want you guys to just go and have fun, but more importantly for you to start thinking about what your future is going to be, not just here in our nation, but on an international scale, all right? We found that some of our children have never left the, the Queens area, and this is a perfect opportunity for them to um, find their place as global citizens. Yeah, so London, we're on the way. It's coming. Getting ready to go right now. As you see, just waiting on everyone to pull up now so we can get out of here. Okay, you okay, definitely wait, will. Stand together, take, a take care of my babies. <laughs> <laughs> she, she said she's at the nest line, but she doesn't understand the urgent. I actually forgot about Jemiah, and here she go. We actually was going to leave her. We would have ended up leaving her. Jared, I heard you mess everything up, man. What happened, man? You're the reason why we can't get our tickets right now? I don't know, man. They're saying it was an issue with your with your ticket, man. It's always Jared. It's always Jared? Because he was late. Now, come on now. Even the damn thing is always Jared. Place your seat in the original upright position with foot rest stowed and head rest lowered. First class seats must face forward with armrest raised. Business class monitors must be stowed. 
We made it! Safe flight! Everyone's excited um, about what's next to come and our first college trip, uh, which is going to be at Brunel University. So, Brunel, here we come. So we arrived at Brunel. Brunel University is an awesome campus. Every year there's a major championships in a different sport, so we host a different team. Um, in 2015 it was the Rugby World Cup, so we had the French team. In 2017 it was the Athletics World Championship, so we had the Japanese team. Wow. Um, we have the Jamaicans every year. We Jamaica! Have <laughs> we have some US athletes every year as well. Um, a ton of different athletes, to be honest. If you guys came about six weeks later, if I'd have taken you into the IAC, you'd have probably recognize some of the people in there. They have so many great athletic departments. Um, they give us a, a, a real nice tour of the campus facilities. So I personally went for a program called Across the Pond. I don't know if it works in America as well. But they essentially say, what do you want to do? Here are the schools where you can do it. This is what you need to give. Essays, transcripts, whatever it takes. And then they do the whole application process for you, free of charge. I think the kids really enjoyed it. They really enjoyed all the information that they um, learned uh, as far as about Brunel University. And some of them, you know, I heard some of them saying that they might be interested in going to Brunel. So, hey, let's see what happens. All right, so what do you think about Jared losing his wallet? Those monkey leash that go on his back and you gotta hold on to the leash first. Somebody <laughs> need to hold his stuff for him. He's always losing his stuff? First he was late. Then in the um, in the, um the airport, he had a big thing of toothpaste, so that's to take that away. And then the ticket. <laughs> we the didn't ticket. Really the ticket. Away. Yeah, yeah the, the ticket. ticket took long, but we got what's called. Vouchers. Yeah, we got the vouchers. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, now this, like, come on. Anybody need your vouchers? I'm taking. Um, how you guys enjoying? Um, you just touched down in London. Tell me, tell me about it. Are you enjoying it? How was the flight? So so. The first one. Yeah. It was yeah. I got only three hours of sleep, so I'm surviving on one hour. I'm surviving on three hours of sleep. Um, it's gonna be London College of Fashion. Um, I think our tour starts at ten. So everyone's got to be waking up early at um, maybe like 8 o'clock, get breakfast, and our charter bus should be waiting. My name is Athena Sum from Class 801. I go to 226 in Queens, New York. And today we are in London, and we are going to the London School of Fashion. Hi, everyone. I'm Charlotte. I study at London College of Fashion. I'd like to give a huge welcome and shout out to MS226 because it's been awesome. And a shout out to I Will Graduate program. Yeah, man. Like having your sunglasses on. You're a sunglass guy, man. It's a transition. Transition? Ha 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 ha, man. We have London College of Fashion. This is everything to do with fashion. So we have three schools within London College of Fashion. We have School of Design and Technology. So we do like women's wear, sports wear, pattern cutting, accessories, jewelry, footwear. So we have lots of design courses. We had to design a collection of six shoes for um, a particular consumer. So you're given lessons on who am I designing for? Is, am I designing for someone like you? Or am I designing for an older woman, perhaps? And then you have to research what, what that person wants. What do they do on a daily, day to day? What do they wear? So that you can design something that they want to buy. And so that's what my course entails. Jared and Ayana um, were definitely interested. They were, I see that they were really like going through the books in the library and stuff and so forth. And they were really excited about some of the things that they discovered about, you know, fashion world, about what they did like in the 18th century designs, jackets, cut styles. His colors is hot right here, though. That pattern right there? On the back of a jacket or something right now? I don't know, that, that's well, fire. That's fire. That's, <laughs> that's fire. <laughs> Look, this is fire too. Yeah. I'll buy oh, I need, before we go, I need, I need to buy a fanny pack. I want to buy uh, it. Was one, it was a nice one. Oh shoot, child buys me? Together they're worth, worth 1.25. Mm. 1.255 billion dollars. Mm. 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 Just check. I think that is What do you think that is? Rice. Rice. Is it rice? It's pineapple. Pineapple? Leather. So it's, it, they call, I think they call it leather because it's got a similar te 
the way it behaves, mm -hmm. but obviously it's not been anywhere near us. Yeah. Um, but it's from the from the leaves. I think when you oh, yeah. it produces something yeah interesting so it, it doesn't decompose or it doesn't break down well or probably if you wanted to recycle it it's all fully sustainable so it's a biodegradable oh, material but how do you keep it from like not growing mold like you're wearing a jacket and then it's like <laughs> yeah. I think they, they treat it okay. somehow, okay. they put coating of some description. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It just walk up, like, do you want me to walk my hands up? <laughs> no, like this. <laughs> like this. <laughs> How are you enjoying London so far? Everything you thought it was going to be? Or is it the same, just like New York? It's not the same, it's not the same. but... I don't think yeah. so, like, my expectations didn't meet its standards. I had to be like, we're, was it when we were wearing, like, raincoats and stuff? <laughs> you thought people were going to wear rain, uh, raincoats and raining a lot, right? And gloomy? I always see on pictures that they're wearing trench coats and then, like, you know, you don't see that over here. They just wear, like, sweaters and, like, short sleeves. But, you know. So we're in the hotel now, everything is a little bit settled down, and by little, I mean not really. It's a talking pizza. <laughs> There's pizza happening, kids are buying stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm fine, I'll just show your hands. My hands is clean, okay? So the kids are unwinding a little bit, and they are going into each other's rooms. We gotta be kids. I'll be your back. Pineapples? No. No, no pineapples. Chicken and cheese. What you want? Cheese. Cheese? Oh, cheese? Huh? Only like one bag is hers. One? What are you talking about? What the bag is yours? Well, not one in the bag, one the pink bag. So this is mine, this is mine, this is mine, this is mine. This is mine. Wow. Sage and, St uh, and Stefan, and Stefan, I guess they were arguing over socks. I don't know, like. He has um, Nike socks versus Adidas socks or something else. I don't know. Dude, sock that's not known That's not anything. mine. I don't have Hilfiger socks. Dude. I don't have Hilfiger socks either. Well, is that me? I don't have Adidas socks. You have Adidas socks. I don't have Adidas socks. Who has Hilfiger socks? Okay, well this is mine. I don't have Hilfiger socks. I have Nike and Under Armour socks. I don't have those socks. Uh, it's in my study bag. Someone's been stinking in our room and took off the It's either socks. Jared or somebody else. Or, or, or the other six people. or written essays in English that would help you with that. They help with research for essays. We are at Oxford University. Uh, our tour guide is Ian. He's funny and amazing. So what are you doing here in Oxford? Why are you here? Exploring. Exploring? Colleges. Colleges. How many of you are coming to Oxford? Put your hands up. Yes. Um, Oxford is very prestigious. It's basically England's version of Harvard University. The kids are very excited, they're learning a lot, and uh, yeah. Okay, so last night we started this process where we took some time at the end of the day to just um, reflect a little bit on the experience we, we had during the course of the day. Um, one of the protocols we established was that we would be mindful and open-minded about everything we experienced during the course of the day. So tonight, just like we did last night, we're going to have our community roundtable. Round table. Round table. On this trip, Dr. Shirley put together a roundtable, and this roundtable basically um, give the kids a chance to kind of reflect on some of the tours and some of the experiences they had while in London every day. One thing that resonated with me today was definitely the thought that we um, were experiencing, like I said this yesterday, how I hoped that we'd experience more of not only London culture, but communication, just the little differences. And um, just the thought that we did experience that, like the little difference of people not saying excuse me and waiting, the little difference of the sidewalk, just small differences like that. Um, but also, like Ms. Beeson said, the college tour was definitely something I learned from and I was glad to experience because I saw something that I know I wouldn't have ever knew about or seen if I didn't come. Burnell, 
yesterday and Imperial today. Yeah, that was um, my can share. You, can, you, can you talk a little bit about that? Um, That activity was a must-needed activity to kind of just open up the dialogue about the experience in London. Sage getting his shoe stuck in the escalator. <laughs> Sage, shoelaces stuck in the escalator. Yeah, all right, so let me tell you what happened. So we're walking, we're, Sage, I think they want to go to the Adidas store, or Adidas, right? As they say in London. So we're going to the Adidas store. We're going up the escalator. We're going up the escalator. And everything's fine. You know, everything's fine. Everyone, everyone's going up the escalator. I'm the last one behind. He was walking up the escalator and I'm looking at the top of the escalator. Yeah, and his shoes were untied and his shoelace got stuck in the escalator. And, and then Sage says, he said in the most innocent voice, help. It's stuck. My shoe got stuck. In a real nonchalant way, like it wasn't an emergency. And my shoelace. The way Sanchez looked at it. So I'm just like, huh? What do you mean? Oh. <laughs> it was like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Say just stood there and did nothing. His shoelace is stuck in the escalator. That's a problem. Like, emergency 911, right? So I'm running up to the top of the, top of the escalator. He took off his shoe. He takes his shoe off. And Sanchez had to pull it out. I yank the shoe. I grab the shoe and yank the shoe. Out of, the escal out of the escalator, and that was it. But Sage was fine, no one got hurt. It was just interesting how you said it. He was just so calm and cool about his shoelace, his shoelace getting stuck in the escalator. He didn't panic, nothing. nothing. The best college experience was Imperial College because like, I felt like I could like, relate more to it. And it had a lot of history behind it, like the Queen's Tower. My best college experience would be Oxford because it has what I like at the very top college and it will open more doors for me and get I'll get a better job. This trip to London has been a very great experience. Every time somebody calls me and asks me like, oh how's London? I'm like, I'm having a great time. Like that's one thing I can say. Like all the college tours we've been on and got to see this different schools and all the history landmarks. I, I must say, I've, I've had a great time. London, goodbye. I'll graduate, trip over. I'm a CG6 trip over. We'll see next year, South Africa or some other country, hopefully. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Friday, London. Every day is an experience. Every day is a sea. I don't really want to go, but I gotta go, I gotta go see my family again. We know every step, we know every stop, we know there's a place where we belong. We see all the people that's smiling at every night. It's a little bit difficult trying to work on stuff uh, in America while we're in London. Uh, for example, school trips that were happening in America uh, and knowing which chaperone is supposed to be where or what needs to be paid and what hasn't been done and things like that. So. Yeah, it was challenging, but we rise to the occasion. I'll graduate, you know, elevate. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Like, Ms. White for making this trip possible, and Shirley for coming, all the teachers, Ms. Beeson, Ms. Priester, Ms. Toro, and I will graduate, you, Sanchez, and Jessica, and everyone else.
happen. That did happen. But in addition to that, the relationship that the children forged while they were here, as well as the personal growth and development that happened over the course of just five days is astounding. I am um, a little one-on-one -on -one chat with students who are saying that they are walking away from this experience and making moves in their lives that are contrary to you know the path they were on before. One little girl shared that just from going to Cambridge and learning about the breakaway from between Oxford and Cambridge, she's now walking away knowing that she's going to separate herself from negative influences and you know continue on that road to positivity. And I can't tell you how much of those stories I've heard. Oh I'm learning to be independent. I'm going back and I'm going to do better because now I can see all the possibilities. Amazing, amazing. Farewell. I will graduate. You did an awesome job. You were flexible. You took care of our children. You made sure that we went everywhere we wanted to go. You provided so well for us and we truly appreciate you. Thank you. I'm a student.